Hi guys, most of you will know that HMV are bringing out the new VHS style Blu-rays. Uh, they're exclusive to HMV. I'm not sure if they're, they're limited to a certain amount, um, but I decided to pick up The Thing and The Warriors. I was contemplating Back to the Future and a couple of other ones like The Breakfast Club, but I wanted to keep it kind of horror related. I know that's not really horror, but it was horror to me as a kid. So what we'll do is we'll open these up and we'll see what they're like inside. I do hear that they're pretty cheap looking, but I'll be the judge. Okay, so we'll start off with the Warriors because I do love the thing, so I want to leave that to last. So the Warriors, so I, I've not seen inside these before. I've not really looked online. Um, I hear this is the director's cut of the movie. Um, I'm, not a, I'm not big on the Warriors, so I don't know too much about it, but I hear that the director's cut is not the director's cut is not as good as the original cut, um, so I don't really know what that means to a lot of people, but if you don't want the director's cut, it's best maybe not to purchase this for the movie. Um, but there's a the back. You can see the little bit there, so it's kind of like a VHS. Same goes with that part. That part looks like a VHS tape there. I don't know if that part's supposed to be the little bit where you usually put the sticker if you're wanting to record over something, but it's very faint, so I'm not too sure if that was intentional or not. Uh, there's a spine. I know people don't show the spine a lot, and I hate that. The spine's pretty retro looking. One thing I would have preferred, if they were going to put a ratings logo on this, why not put the old ratings logo on it? Because um, this is a fairly new ratings logo. This came out in 2003, I think it was. Uh, but before that, it was an old ratings logo, so I would have preferred that because that would have went in line with VHSs back then. So if we take this off, there's nothing else on there. So I think that's what people are referring to. It's pretty flimsy, but it's okay to me. Put that to the side. I mean, I'd, it's okay. That's not too bad. You get the Warriors. Obviously, this isn't the same size as a VHS. Maybe that's what a lot of people have problems with as well, is that it's not the actual size of a VHS. Forget a VHS, in fact, let's see. Here's a VHS here, a Halloween. So, there's a proper VHS, and there's the Blu-ray. So no, it's not very VHS like, but however, you wouldn't be able to fit a disc into that size. So that's the most practical you're going to get with a VHS. Put that down there. So let's open it up. And inside we have this. Is this a poster? I never knew you got a poster in this. Which is great, because I've got like 10 thing posts. Hey, listen. So there's a poster there. To be honest, the posters aren't great. Mm. It's okay. Right, so that's the poster. Let's see what else you get inside. So you've got the discs. That's a... Mm. Right, I can see some people's issue with this, so like, there's a disc, kind of cardboard looking, and then inside we've got, so I quite like that, is that a sticker? No, it's a cut, right, don't know if that's a sticker, I don't want to peel it just in case, and then this one's definitely a card. But it looks like the old trading cards you used to get back in the 80s. Yeah. So, that's that. Is there anything else in here? Because it's... No, that's it. So, it's a bit of a wasted space, I would say, because if you look here, this is just all boxed in obviously to raise the discs up, but that's quite a lot of space. They could have put a collector's booklet in there, for example. Um, that would have made it more collectible, I would say. 
kind of small poster. I mean, they could have made a thicker, bigger poster and folded it a little bit more like Arrow video do. Um, so, it is a little bit disappointing. I will admit that. But, I don't have the Warriors on Blu-ray. So, it's probably a good way to have it. The only issue is the height of it. Uh, it is... Let's see... Is it this, the height of a VHS? It's not even the same height as a VHS. I mean, this is the, the small box VHSs, which is still taller than these. So, it is a strange size, I will admit that. I can understand the width of it, but the height of it is inexcusable. They should have at least made it a little bit bigger to make it the same size as an actual VHS box. So that is the Warriors. We'll quickly check out the thing because I'm assuming the thing's the exact same inside. Uh, so bear with me and I'll open up the thing. Now here's the thing. I've got the thing on Blu-ray, the standard uh, Universal Blu-ray. I've got it on Special Edition Arrow with the slip cover, and I've also got it on Limited Edition Arrow Blu-ray uh, with all the collector stuff, the booklet, the poster and stuff. So this is the fourth version of the thing on Blu-ray alone. Uh, that I've actually purchased. I do like this artwork because it's very sh badly made. Uh, I remember this artwork uh, on the VHS. Um, you know, the stretched, the aspect ratio, they didn't care about aspect ratio back in the 80s. Um, but yeah, I do like this cover. Uh, I like the artwork. Um, I'll just turn around the back for you. These are, I forgot to mention, it's Blu-ray and DVD. Why didn't they just give us the VHS? with a Blu-ray inside. That would have been pretty cool. Like, um, It Follows done that, and House of the Devil done a VHS as well. And also VHS done a VHS. So, I'll quickly open this up. So it's the same flimsy cover, I imagine, yeah. Uh, then you've got the artwork there. And there. Open up. Again, I don't know what the poster looks like or the little art cards. Poster. Is that. Which I've already got. There. I've got a better one than that. And then you've got the discs. I'm not even going to lift it up because it's the exact same, but I'll show you the sticker. Yeah, it is a sticker of the legendary Kurt Russell, one of my favourite actors of all time. Love Kurt Russell in that. And then you've got the little trading card. Now one thing that would have been good as well is, let's say there was a thousand of these, I don't know if there is, they should, only, they should make a different one, or at least maybe ten of these, and then ten other ones, and ten other ones. That means you can actually trade with people. That would have been cool. And then you've got the back. Boom, boom. And that's it guys, so uh, yeah, they're disappointing I would say. They're quite quirky and cool to have, um, but yeah, I would definitely wait until they go down in price if you've not bought any. Uh, I don't think they're going to sell out. I think when people start watching these kind of videos on YouTube and see the quality of them, they're not going to be too impressed. But I would say that if you haven't got any of these on Blu-ray, why not pick them up? They are different after all. Um, but yeah. So that's the thing and the warriors. Anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching again. Thanks for subscribing. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.